Good morning, wonderful people, great dear friends, wherever you are, on the surface of this very planet, or even beneath, for those of you who are serving in the United States Armed Forces in the Navy, those of you who are in the submarine, those of you who are under the water, those who are dedicatedly listening and following every development in so far as the restoration of the kingdom of heaven upon the face of this very earth is concerned, I welcome each and every one of you, regardless of where you are domiciled, regardless of your, your creed, your religion, or your persuasion, we even welcome those of them who are as stupid as to believe in the creation of a white man, Nigeria, the Zoological Republic. Each and every one of you is welcome, but more especially lovers of freedom, the very hard call upon whose resoluteness and determination we anchor all that we are doing, but above all, we dedicate all that we are to the Most High, Chukukika Biyama Purumihenine, this morning as you are gathered around your listening device, of course, I will ask you to urge those who are around you to also participate, to listen, to phone in, to debate, to ask your questions, because here we are going to answer them, no matter how foolish your question may appear, no matter how sensible they may appear, we will also give those every attention they deserve. We shall respond to you. We are live and we are direct. And today's date, if I am not mistaken, is the 24th day of July in the year of the Most High, 2020. Yes, am I mistaken? No, I'm not. No, it, today is the, is the 23rd, of course. It is the 23rd, please. Do bear with me. I want to make sure that I... Why is one of my systems showing 23? It is the 24th, of course. It is the 24th. 24th day, Friday, the 24th of July, 2020. The time now is 7 minutes past 7 a.m. in the land of Biafra. 7 minutes past the top of the hour, wherever you are. I know some of you are on your way to work, some are already in your offices, and for some of you, or should I say for those who are quarantined, you are more than welcome to participate and to listen to our program this very morning. And as always, I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you, because believe it or not, for some people, now is their night time. And for those of you who are waking up, I say good morning to you. My name is Nnam Kano. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, the whole world over. The director of radio, Biafra and Biafra television, by, by the special grace of the most high Elohim, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra. We have come here that the truth may prevail, that falsehood may vanish, that light may rise up and darkness will flee. That is why we are here, but above all, to restore Biafra in our time. And if we do all that we are supposed to do, this very year, 2020, shall be our year. We are doing everything we can to restore Biafra as quickly as possible. And there is nothing any mortal can do about it. Those who are working for the enemy can do all they like. Those who are foolishly pursuing the dream, the unrealizable dream of Igbo presidency in 2023 are allowed to dream because dream is free. You are free to dream. But for us, our pursuit is freedom. Our pursuit is emancipation. Our pursuit is Biafra. And we are here to restore it regardless of what the Fulefu Brigade may think or whatever they may say, we have come to enlighten, and I am glad to say that the whole of the black race right across the world are being enlightened at this precise moment. Very shortly our line shall open, because I am not here, of course, to analyze the news today. We are here to listen to you, to hear what you have to say, to ask your questions, to debate the issues, and for the whole world to make up their mind. But before we go any further, we must hand over our proceedings to the Most High, as it is customary for us to do here 
on this very platform. Therefore, we are going to pray a very short prayer. And that prayer is a very simple one. The prayer that Yeshua prayed when he walked the face of this very earth. That very prayer is called the Lord's Prayer. And this morning we shall pray it because we do not worship any idol. We do not bow before any graven image. There is only one supreme entity, only one God in heaven. And that God is worthy of praise, adoration, exaltation, and adulation. And that is what we're going to do this very morning. And I will, buy back, I will ask you to bow down your heads wherever you are. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on this very earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever we pray. He said, he said, he said, we are going to, of course, go straight to our lines. For those of you who do not have it, we are even going to attempt this very morning to take your calls via Skype as well. I know some of you call us on Skype. Some of you call us on Skype. And we are endeavoring to open our Skype this very morning to be able to take your calls. And for those who are wondering what that is, I will attempt to give it to you in a short while. I will attempt to give it to you in a short while. I am trying to get hold. Our Skype is IPOB2020 at Outlook.com. IPOB2020 at Outlook.com. That is our Skype. And for the other lines that we have, I will give that to you as well in a short. And remember, it is basically Skype. It is a Skype number if you wish to participate in the program this very morning. Once again, wherever you are, we are welcoming you. The Skype, sorry, the WhatsApp number is plus one five one two nine five five two eight zero seven. If you wish, you can also send us. A message we'll be able to read it out regardless of what it is and if you have any questions you can also whatsapp us and i'll read it out read out your name as well and then be able to answer it once again the number is plus one five one two nine five five two eight zero seven we also have the other line as well for those of you who are willing to participate this morning because today is for our people, it is for our listeners, those of you who are dedicatedly dedicated to the restoration effort of Biafra, you are more than welcome to do so. I am going to go to the first caller this very morning, it is on Skype. This very caller, give us your name and where you're calling us from. You are live and you're direct. And I will suggest you turn your system down. He hasn't turned his system down, so I am turning him off. If you call us and I hear any background noise, I will disengage you. I will disengage you because you are supposed to listen to what we have to say because the whole world is listening. If you have a background noise, we cannot be able to hear ourselves. The caller on the line on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clear. Can you hear me, my leader? Of course, I can hear you. Go ahead. Your name and where you're calling from. Thank you. My name is Okweke uh, Chuku. I'm calling from uh, Spain, Malaga. From Malaga in Spain. Please go ahead. We are listening. Yes. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's my privilege to speak with you this very morning. And I'm very happy to hear your voice, you know. <laughs> uh, I want to say thank you, my leader, for your your good work that you are doing for us. May Elohim bless you and uh, protect you and thank you all over the world. I want to say we, we appreciate your good work, our leader, honestly. Without you today, where will we be, you know? When I remember our Biafra struggle, when I remember our freedom that is at hand, 
I will have hope because actually I'm tired of Spain Europe. You know, it's not easy to leave my country, Biafra land, to be in Europe for how many years? So we are, in fact, Biafra is our our dream. Biafra is our dream, and uh, we are working very hard together to make sure that we will stop Biafra because without Biafra, we are, we are we are finished. We are finished. Our leader, do you know that the first time I come to Europe, you know, when they ask me where am I from, I will say I'm from Nigeria. You know, they ask me Nigeria, not Nigeria, they are saying Nigeria, like they say Nigeria. Go to Spain, what they, they tell Nigeria. you is Nigeria, what they call you is Nigeria, Nigeria. because you come from a nigger area. That is where you come from. Yes. That is the stupidity. Thank you, my dear brother, and stay on the line. That is the stupidity of black people that I cannot be able to fathom. I have said this repeatedly. I've said this time and time again. There is something wrong with the brain of a black man that you allow yourself to be named the same way you will name your cat or your dog by a white man. They came down to our land. They gave us a name, a derogatory name, and people are jumping up and down saying they are proud of that name. When I think about it, when I remember it, it reminds me of the stupidity and hopelessness of a black man. We black people, we are sick in the brain. Our brains are not functioning properly. I'm telling you the truth. And I keep asking them this question. If you claim that black lives matter, if you claim you're equal to a white person, why would a white man come to your village and give you a name and you accept it? That goes to show you are inferior. That goes to show you're not a human being. And that goes to show that you are hopeless and useless to the human race. The caller on the line, can you hear me please, your name and where you're calling from? Hello, good morning, my leader. I am hearing you. Go ahead, your name and where you're calling from. Yes, my name is Obina. I, I'm a son of the soil. I'm calling you from New Delhi, India. Thank you. Go ahead. We're listening. Go ahead. Yeah, my leader, I don't have much to say. I just have to... I come here this morning to thank you. We have been following you for a long time. And uh, we are seeing the fruit of the work we are doing. I just want to thank you. And I want to ask you to continue. That Chuku Okike Abiyama will continue to guide you. That's yes, my contribution this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. But this morning I have to warn, please. I want people that want to ask questions, difficult questions. The same way I have received a message on WhatsApp this very morning. You can greet and thank us later. It's a, it's a very wonderful thing. But what we need are tangible, positive contributions. Even criticisms or a critique of our method. So that we can put you straight. I have a message here from somebody called Spencer Anyewelu. And he said he is the CEO of an online television called Prime View Television. He said he would like to interview me on his program called The Podium. And ask me real questions about, about why IPOB has opted not to go down the route of the Scottish Nationalist Party or ANC by joining the political process using a platform with a self-determination ideology for all the people of Nigeria who want to seek a referendum. First, on who wants to join Biafra or any other separatist entity. And the second one on leaving the zoo Nigeria. He's asking us, or he's saying that he would like to interview me about why we have not opted to be like the Scottish Nationalist Party or the ANC in South Africa. He's mixing two things here. I will try to answer his question here, and of course I'll respond to him later. First of all is that SNP is participating in an electoral and political process where there is no rigging, where the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom cannot come and say that somebody who came forth can now become the number one. People don't understand. Africans don't understand and the zoo people, Nigerians, they don't reason. People went to the polls in Imo states to vote in the last elections. They declared that um, What's his name? Uh, uh, came first. Another person came second. Another person came third. And the Supreme Court governor, Uzadema, came fourth. And you have seen 
the unworkability of the electoral process in the zoo. This person writing to me, asking me for an interview, he's aware that in Lagos they said that Biafran should go back to Biafra land to go and vote. He's aware that polling stations we are ransacked and burnt in Kanu, in Kaduna, in Zaria, in Abuja, even in Lagos. They are aware that where our people were voting, they came with their thugs and they destroyed everything. They are all aware of this. What I want to understand is what aspect of the brain of a black man cannot link two things together? How do you want us to participate in an electoral process where they wait for you, you do all that you have to do, and they wait for you at the Supreme Court to determine who is going to go forward or not? How do you want us to participate in an electoral process where a university professor will be rigging an election for somebody without a certificate? How do you want us to participate in an electoral process where the Supreme Court, the Electoral Act says you must have secondary school certificate? And you have people forging certificates. They don't have it. They go to court and the court will say, Oh, by virtue of the fact that there have been a minister before, oh, how can you say they didn't go to school? Is that the type of society, the type of electoral process you want IPOB to be a part of? They will mess us up. They will wait for us to go to the polls. After voting, they will go to Abuja and they will say, Oh, IP IPOB did not win anything. And what will you do then? What will you do? Then we start demonstrating and they start shooting us and they start killing us. I have a caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? Thank you very much. Your name and where you're coming. And in English, please, if you may. Your name and where you're calling from, please. My name is Uchenna Wapara from our mom. I live in Indonesia. Indonesia, please. Thank you very much. Proceed. We are listening. Go ahead. Uh, Speak English for us, please. A lot of our people are listening and they are not able to comprehend or understand your language. Please speak English if you can. I say, may Almighty God guide you and protect you in the in the Chukwu He said. He said. He said. Thank you. Go ahead. Is that all you have to say? I don't know. Maybe that is all they have to say. And I have said, please, if you can, I am begging you, you can greet us later. What I want, I want people who can debate. I want people with issues. Those that have problem with the way we are, as our brother just said, and he wants to ask me, why can't we be like SNP? And I've just told him, SNP is operating within a civilized environment, should I say, where people go to the polls, they vote, and their votes actually count. If you allow us to participate in a free and fair electoral process, IPOB will sweep the board. We will, sweep, we will even win elections in Lagos. We will win in Oyong. We will even win in places like Kaduna. We will. But the system that you have in the zoo was designed by animals run by animals for the subjugation of their fellow animals they are not human beings and we don't wish to participate in an electoral process where human beings cannot be able to express their preference and have that respected i have a caller on the line this caller can you hear me yeah this is godwin from uh, united states of america godwin what is the meaning of um, godwin don't you have a proper name? What is your proper name, please? Yeah, that's the name my dad gave to me. I'm from Isoko. You are from Isoko? You don't have an yes. Isoko name? No. Hey. Okay, please go ahead. We are listening. The world yeah. is listening. From Isoko, yeah. you are in the United States of America. We are listening attentively. Please go ahead. And raise your voice, please. I can no long. I don't know what is going on. I can no long. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Please go ahead. I said that. I said that our God will bless you and protect you, protect your family, and protect you hope your whole land. Yes, sir. I yeah. I want you to tell us if we have any representative in Isoko land because we are seeing what you are doing. Most of us, you know, as we, I don't know. What is happening over there? I mean, United States, and I don't know if you have some people on ground there in our area. So, because Urubo, we know that Urubo, our brothers, Ijo, everybody, they are waking up now. But I've not been, I've not been seeing Isoko people. 
you know, in the line, uh, online or discussing with each other and see how their own contribution. So I want you to tell us if we have some people, our representative. Yes, we have. We have. A, I, I'm, I'm sure our Isoko brothers and sisters are going to respond to you. Yes, we are in Isoko land. And okay, IPOB you, is you, all you, across Biafra land. But I understand what you're saying. What you're saying is correct. You, since you're from Isoko, you too can begin that level of awareness which you're hoping to see from our Isoko yes, brethren. I'll, I'll you can start that. it. I'll be doing that. Well, second question is, uh, Tony Nadi, I've been watching him. Tony Nadi keep on accusing you that you don't have a map, map representing a... a uh, what do you call it? Biafra land. So I've been seeing the map. I don't know. I, I think you should address this so everybody will know that you don't have anything like a master plan. So please, can you throw more light on this? You see, I have said this over and over again, and as I keep saying, the brain of a black man is deformed and demented. They don't listen and they don't hear. If you explain something over and over, it is that stupidity in their brain they want to be running about with. It is in their nature. I have explained and explained and explained. You are asking me for a map. Don't you have a Biafra map? We are don't, didn't you have a map before Ojupu declared Biafra in 1967? I don't know how stupid some people can be. I don't understand. That is why a white man will kneel on our neck until we choke, suffocate, and die because we don't reason very well. I have said it. And allow me to repeat. And maybe next week, Friday, somebody will come and ask me the same set of stupid, hopeless questions that I have answered over and over again. Now, let me answer you again. If you want to know the map of Biafra, start traveling from the north or from the west or from Cameroon. Anywhere you encounter women tying two piece wrapper, that is Biafra land. You are from Isoko, and I want to ask you a very simple question as an Isoko son how many pieces of wrapper do your mother tie? You don't get me. No, 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 answer my question. I'm answering your question. I'm going to answer every question. I want to ask you my own how many pieces of wrapper do your mother tie? It's true, of course. Simple, simple. That means you are Biafra. Now, we want to go to the issue of of uh, uh, air map, road map, land map, and uh, middle, upper tree map. This is the thing that people don't understand. If you have been following us, what we have been doing from the beginning, from the beginning, I don't know, I don't, people came on air to say IPOB has no structure. The same way you're saying, what is our roadmap? If you have been following and listening to Radio Biafra from the beginning, I have always maintained, I have always maintained that the steps we are going to take to achieve Biafra is a very simple one. First of all, we are going to sensitize our people, which is exactly what we are doing. We are going to educate and to enlighten them. And ultimately, we are going to demand and call for a referendum. As simple as that. I don't understand what other map, what other thing you're looking for. Is it for me to put every plan I'm going to, oh, how I'm going to, how I'm raising funds for IPOB, how we are doing it, how we are funding all the programs we have. You want me to write it down on a piece of paper so an idiot will take it to the north and go and sell it? Is that what you want me to do? I am not that foolish. I'm not that stupid. The real, how can I put it, the substance of the work we are doing is not subject to public knowledge because if I tell you, you will sell it. If I tell you, you will take it to Agosa, to, sorry, to, to Fulani, and you will sell it. And that is what they have been doing. When people are asking us all these irrelevant questions, they want us to tell them exactly what we are going to do. The same thing happened to our transmitter. They said, show us the transmitter. You must show us. I went and I foolishly did a video of the transmitter. Within two weeks, the transmitter was gone. And now, as I'm talking to you right now, I have the pictures. Our transmitter is in DSS compound in Abuja. I don't understand. When people, when ANC was fighting for, for the equality of black and white people in South Africa, everybody knew what they were fighting for. They are fighting for equality, one man, one vote. How then are you going to ask Mandela, oh, please show us your roadmap, when you understand they are fighting an unjust system, they are fighting apartheid. You are asking, show us your roadmap. 
but the roadmap is in all their action and all the speeches. It, what do you want? What road? What other roadmap do you need than we want Biafra by every means possible? I don't understand these people. But maybe you can educate me. You are not getting my point. What is your point? You are not getting my point. Hold on. You are not getting my point. Yes. My point is, my point is me, myself, I'm married from uh, Ugobala in Imo State. My yes. children are Igbo too. Yes. So you don't get my point. My Tell point me. is, they are sabotaging your effort. This guy is coming out telling people. Oh, and how many people are listening to him? How many people are listening to him? Not me, not exactly, me. Not exactly. Me. You have answered my question. Not people are not gossipers will gossip. Haven't you seen people come out and criticize Trump? Don't you see people criticizing um, Boris Johnson? Don't you hear people talking? A black man is filled with envy and jealousy. They must be envious, they must be jealous. Ask yourself this very question Why would a man spend all his life talking about another man if he has something important he's doing? Do I talk about other people? The same way they talk about, the same way uh, these four individuals talk about me? Why should I waste my time responding to people who are irrelevant? Because if you have anything to say, we have a battle of ideas. Because you have no idea. You have nothing going for you. Because you went to Fulani Janjaweed, you took money, you told them, oh, I can bring IPOB, I can collapse it. And you have failed. And then you're talking rubbish about me. I don't know who these people are. I've only met them once or twice in my life. But when you hear them talk about me and IPOB, you will think they were part and parcel of this very family from the beginning. When clearly they are not. You are asking me to respond to somebody who is not intelligent enough for me to respond to. I say he's not intelligent enough for the very simple reason that if you have been listening to, I, to what I've been saying on Radio Biafra from the beginning and you come in 2020 or 2019 and you say uh, there is no roadmap we don't know where they are going. You are either deceiving yourself or you are a very horrible, terrible human being. One of those two. And the Igbos will have it in abundance. That is the way we are. Because you cannot be numb. They cannot. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. You cannot be. The work I'm doing was ordained from heaven. I was born to do this very work. You cannot be like me. Not now, not forever and ever. That is why they are running around begging us. Come and join us. How can I join you when you have no body? How can I join you when you're working for a new Nigeria movement? How can I join you when you have no pedigree? You have no presence on the ground. You cannot give command. How can I join you? I gave command and there is no Nigeria movement in Hamburg. Who are these people? Why do we gravitate towards gossip and irrelevance? I keep asking myself. What is it about our people that men is only men that will ask this useless foolish questions why are you not working with that person why are you not working with that person and i'm asking you why can't they go and join ipob and become a coordinator if they're very good and over time they can be promoted than one idiot staying somewhere talking rubbish on on video and then expecting ipob to 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 collaborate with him or her who are you we we number millions all over the world i said millions how many are you four people Asking, asking millions of people to go and join them. Are you people? Uh, I don't know, it's not you. It is not you. But I, I, that is what I want you to understand. Forget about people. If people don't criticize us, we will not be as effective as we are. So criticism is a very welcome development and I love it. And let them continue to do so. I welcome it. Because in Biafra land, let's say you are the prime minister of Biafra or president tomorrow. Somebody can come to you, point to your face and say, you're a very foolish man, you're stupid, you're this and that. Do you think we are going to allow you to imprison that person or to kill them because they criticize you? No. It's for you to explain to that very person the reason why your policies are the way they are. That is the type of Biafra we want. A Biafra where criticisms will reign supreme, but only to better us and not to drag us down. Thank you very much. God bless, God bless you, brother. And bless you too. Thank you very, very much. That's the way we roll. We explain facts and figures that the world may understand who we are. They think we are joking, but of course we are not. If we are not effective, why are they begging us to join us then? If we are not good, we, we have no roadmap, but they are begging us to join us. I have been talking to them. I want them to work with us, and they have said no. The same people you said they have no roadmap. You are begging them to work with you. What does that tell you? <laughs> The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? Can you hear me? Good morning, Good morning. 
You can hear me? Okay, wonderful. And good morning to you. Good morning to you. I am trying to get you on speaker, but unfortunately, the number of calls is not allowing me to do so. It is not allowing me to do so. I don't know what is wrong. It is not allowing me to do so. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. I can hear you, London. Claim my leader. Thank you. Your name and where you're calling from, please. My name is Chiwoke. I am from Abia State. Biafra land, but I currently live in Cyprus. There is no place in Biafra land called Abia State. Tell us where you come from. If you don't know the province, you give us the name of your village. There is nothing like Abia State in, in Biafra land. Abia State is a construct Osa, of the zoo. From where? Osa, Uku, local government. Osa, Uku, in local you are from Osa. Amazing. Yes. Amazing stuff. Because I have Osa in Ibeku as well. I come from Ibeku and we also have Osa in Ibeku which shows the interrelatedness and interconnectedness of the Biafran people. Please go ahead. Okay. Um, I want to first thank you for what the Lord, Chuku Kikabayama, has doing with you to the life of Biafran. You thank know, you. even here I am, I'm new here, I've tried in a way that I can see my people, but I've not seen um, a Biafran organization here. We are and you? I also Where are you? Use the, um, Cyprus. I live in Nicosia, not we, Cyprus. We have, IPOB, Cyprus. we have IPOB in Cyprus, not Northern Cyprus, but I think in the South. We have IPOB in Cyprus. And before we finish this program, I'm sure somebody is going to put me right. We have a family in Cyprus that is IPOB in Cyprus. Mostly they are students, but we are in Cyprus. That I can assure you. That I can assure you. You know that um, Southern and Northern have problems, so they are not interrelated. So here are different. I cannot travel to the Southern Cyprus. I, I can only it. stay here in Northern Cyprus. Wow. I, I didn't know that. I never knew that. Yes. Um, th you know, the country sometimes they go, they kind of having a problem. So the Northern Cyprus is controlled by the Turkish. By the Turkish, I know. And South is by, by, is by, is by, the, by, the, by, the, by, by Greece. I know that. But what, what I don't know is... I don't know that the animosity is so deep that they can't even travel to each other's territory. I know there was some kind of partition when um, Turkish paratroopers stormed Cyprus, but I, I didn't know that it, you know they cannot even travel to each other's territories. I never knew that. But I'm sure before this program is over, somebody will put us right. But what you can do is to start an IPOB family in northern Cyprus. That is what you can do. Because IPOB belongs to everybody. Rather than people coming and asking us, oh, why don't you work with me? Why don't you work with other people? I ask you, wherever you are, collapse whatever you are doing into IPOB. If there is none where you are, please start a family. That is the easiest and the best way to go about it. And I thank you very much for calling. But I'm asking you now to start IPB family where you are in Northern Cyprus. Yes. Yes. Um, that's why, like, the other day you told us to bring, um, to create a kind of a company, something. I've forgotten how to put it. And I did it for you. I want to know, you know, that I cannot just start on my own. You know, I need some guidelines that will help me or that will enable me to do so. Because I cannot just... For my own understanding, vending something that I've never given the order to do so. You have the order from me to start a family meeting, and how do you start a family meeting is very simple. Those of you who love Biafra, who love freedom, you come together and you start to hold meetings as to how you can improve, as to how you can better, as to how you can make your own contribution in whatever way, guys, or form in towards advancing this very cause of the liberation of our land. As simple as that. Call people together and have a meeting. And or ask other people, how did you start IPOB in your various countries? It's as simple as that. You call a meeting of like-minded people and as simple as that. And you contact our DOS or somebody will contact you. You have an inquiry lines. You have them. I announced the lines a few days ago. If you go to my page, yes, the numbers yes, are there. Yes, go yes, there and yes, call yes. any of the numbers and you'll be told what to do in great detail. Okay continue to bless you and the life of IPOB. He said, he said, he said and bless said. you too. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, my dear brother. Thank you very much for calling. We are live and we are direct and as I said earlier, the whole world is listening. I have another caller on the line. This caller, give us your name and where you're calling from. You are live and the whole world is listening. Good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, hello, good what is your name, please, and where you're calling from? Okay, my name is Daniel Madabushi. 
And where are you coming from? I'm from? I live in Italy. In Italy? I'm a yeah, football I, IPO member. Please go ahead. Uh, Begamo, Begamo Zone. Begamo, okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm very happy hearing that I speak with you this morning. I cannot go on to say God protect and guide you for what you are doing for Biafras, because I know that heaven sent you. Then my contribution is this, because I have a father that is 106 years. Wow. He once told me something. I said, well, one day I was working with him on the farm. I asked him about Biafra. He said, Biafra, we are the son of the rising sun. He told me that if I see the map of Biafra, I will see the rising sun. Guys, we are from the so we are our nation. We work with nature. The, the life that is our life. We work together with nature. He told me that. That's why he see the Biafra old man. If he see old, old man, when he asks him what is the time, he, he will tell you to go outside of the sun. He will look your 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 shadow. Look, your shadow. Your shadow. Yes. He will tell you exactly the time. Yes. He said, we work with the nation. We are the children of the beginning. Yes. And he said, me, sometimes we are listening to you when you said that where we worship is in, we, we, where we worship in the, is in the uh, uh, IPOB, that is, Biafra is our religion. Yes. He told me that Biafra is a spirit. Biafra have a, that is, Biafra is a spirit. And your 106 year old father is telling you all this. Your 106 year old father is telling you all this. He is old father. His name is Iberiwa. Iberiwa Gabriel Okrobia. He said, when you, he, he lets the spirit of Biafra to enter you. He cannot sabotage your fellow Biafra. Absolutely. Because the spirit is in you. He said, Biafra is a spirit. I agree. So, I'm using this word that my father told me to let all the Afrans, especially our East, Eastern governors and politicians, that they should let the spirit of the Afra to enter them, for them to know where they're from. But, but so they you, know you should also understand, my dear brother, you should also understand that the spirit of Biafra is competing with the spirit of darkness, the zoo. Competing with the spirit of envy, competing with the spirit of jealousy, competing with the spirit of PhD, pull him or her down. These are the demons confronting an average black person, especially a Biafran, on a daily basis. And I have taught this on this platform time and time again. Why do you think only 5,000 white people conquered 20 million Africans? 5,000 white people from yes. Europe colonized everybody that when, when people think about it it should tell them something about our brain our nature and Mazi, the way we act Mazi, you cannot you cannot allow the spirit of what man creates to enter you and dominate you what the lord what the lord have already planted Africa is a nation that god plants and it, Nigeria, Nigeria is you know Nigeria is a, a nation that woman be created there is no any how we will allow because of money or the peanut we are getting from the Nigeria and lead, lead, use it to dominate the legacy that is supposed to live for your unborn children. When you think that you are toiling for your children and those children will go up and call you a coward that you toil for peanut instead of go for what you want. So I'm using this opportunity to, uh, to advise them. That they should not do what their children will grow up. They, they are doing it now, thinking that they are, they are inquiring for their children. But those children will grow up and tell them that they are a fool because they go to clean out instead of going for what they want. I agree with you. And I, I hope that that befalls them in time to come. I hope that that becomes their portion in time to come. But one thing is certain. 
we should stop complaining because if you go to the farm, you go and uh, uh, plant uh, 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 maize or corn or cassava or, or even go flooded pumpkin or yam, don't you go to weed it? Do the weed that will sprout in your farm, will they have regard or respect for the yam, the cassava that is in your farm? Because weed is natural. It is natural. Darkness is bound to come. Evil will always exist. So there are evil people amongst us. And you just don't wish them away. But when they grow up like a weed, you go and you weed your farm, isn't it? Because if you allow the weed, the weed will choke the good crops that you've planted. And you will starve and you will die. So you will go and you keep uprooting the weed until whatever you planted uh, matures and then you go and harvest it. We are live and we are direct. This is our phone in session. And I welcome all of you who are calling in this very morning. The caller on the line, I've put you on hold. Yes, your name and where you're calling from, please. Uh, my name is Obu. I'm calling from the zoo. Hey, which part of the... <laughs> <laughs> Please go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Calling from the zoo, the zoo in Lagos. <laughs> Please go ahead. The, who, the zoo must come down. It will, of course, it will. I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm the most grateful person on the surface of the earth concerning this movement and concerning the power that God has given you to stand and remain firm. I've had a lot of rubbishes left, right, and center, but I know that you the same are way you have a weed in the farm. If you, this is rainy season, if you go to your farm, some of our farms now, if you're lazy, the weed will choke the crops you've planted, and you will go hungry. So there are bound to be chaff, there are bound to be weed, there are bound to be idiots and non-entities seeking relevance. If you give them relevance, they will get it. If you ignore them. End of story. It's like going to uproot the weed in your farm. As simple as that. People are bound to talk. It is life. It is human nature. Because this very indomie generation or those before them, gossiping is a way of life. Because that is why you do cultism. People do cultism because our universities, they don't teach anything. If you sleep with a lecturer, you get your, you pass. If you bribe a lecturer, you will pass. So why study? You are, you know, you can do cultism. But if it is in those days when you have to write what is called a time paper, one time paper every week, you won't have time to go and do cultism. That is how it is. An idle mind is a devil's workshop. People who are idle, doing nothing, maybe doing one nefarious activity or the other, are bound to naturally gravitate towards talking rubbish they do not understand. Please go ahead. Are you listening to me? Or are you listening to the device around you? Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, please go ahead. Okay. I want to ask, um, with all the awareness that's been created concerning the injustice and concerning the killing in Nigeria, I'm still wondering why a body like the United Nations has not taken this as an emergency matter. That's one thing I want to know. Number two, I know uh, Ansari Dokubo has been in peace with his oppressors over some time. After a certain time, he has been paid. But I want to know, is there a way that he is going to be part of this movement? Because recently he's also been declaring to be a Biafra. How come he has not been able to catch the spirit and the movement? Um, um, thank you for your questions. Uh, but one thing you ought to understand is that United Nations will not come to do anything because United Nations was set up by the same people who want you to remain in what they created. I Somebody sent me something very important before I came on air and I was going through it. I will talk about it in greater detail perhaps on Sunday during our live, our next live um, um, broadcast. The white man, the Europeans, came to Africa and they created countries. Africans allowed them to get away with it. And that conferred on the white man a godlike status. So the white man or some certain Europeans, they see themselves as God. 
They went to Africa. They did what only God is allowed to do. Only God is allowed to create a nation. But they went to Africa and they created nations for black people. And those black people accepted it. They gave black people names and black people accepted it. Now, the white man set up what is called a yardstick for you to measure what is right and what is wrong and what is good and what is bad. And because of that, they love it. If you want to dismantle this creation of these demigods from Europe, they will tell you no. That is why somebody with PhD will call himself a Nigerian, will say, I am a proud Nigerian. He will say, I will die for Nigeria. And when you ask him, but who created Nigeria? He will tell you it is God, that it doesn't matter. So that is what we are faced with. When United Nations sit down and look at black people, they see us as a non-existent entity. We don't exist to them. We are just a footnote. You know, when you write your thesis or you write your project, anytime you reference somebody, you come and put it on a footnote. You say, I am referencing such and so person. That is who we are in the history of humanity, in the history of mankind. We don't exist. That is why they are fighting to and nail to stop what we are doing because they know that this type of enlightenment we are bringing is very dangerous for their supremacist views. People, some, I'm not saying all oh, because British people in the main are very good people. There are some people in Britain that see the white man as the pinnacle of God's creation. And after that, white woman. After that, you have the Asians. And then black people are at the bottom of the ladder. I've preached this before. That is why Satan, Lucifer, devil is a black man. You must understand this. There is something I'm going to post right after this very program to prove to the whole world that the kneeling of the white man on the neck of Lloyd George, or is it Floyd George, whatever his name is, is a black man that was killed in America, is what they have been doing to Africa for very many years. But the funniest thing is that it is we Africans that encourage and support them. Because I'm telling you the truth, if a white man were to go to your village now, and pick one of the families from your village, that family becomes noble. They become known. Everybody wants to be like them because you're recognized by a white person. This something even happened to us when we got to England and you see somebody, if he's friendly with a white person, they feel that they have arrived. You that only have black African friends, they see you as being inferior. After all, he has a white friend. So everything that we are suffering today is our own making. And you don't expect the United Nations to come to our rescue because we are our own worst enemies. Take Biafra, for instance. We are pursuing our freedom. But some people are busy trying to do the best they can to discourage some of you from participating in this very noble effort. That tells you all you need to know about our people and why even if, if I'm United Nations, I will not come to your rescue. I'm being very honest with you because we are very, very useless and hopeless. I have another caller on the line. Can you hear me? He is not listening. He is listening to the device, and that is why I cannot take his call. If you call us and your device is very loud, we will not take your call. A sister wrote to us from USA saying, my question is, if anyone wants to borrow money to IPOB, can it be paid back when Biafra comes? And how guaranteed can that be in case I'm going to take out my retirement money as a single mom to give to IPOB? And she is writing from United States of America. And these are the people that the kingdom of the Most High Elohim is made for. You see, as our brother said earlier, that Biafra is the spirit. This our sister, Wadha Maka, is moved. She's living, she sent us a message. She's living in America. Her number ends in 7814, saying, I am prepared to take out my retirement money in order to fund the freedom of my people. But can I get the money back? No, you will not get the money back. Because people have died fighting for this very freedom. They don't have their life back. And we that are living, we continue to pursue it until Biafra comes. And I won't even allow you, I will not allow you to use your pension money to put into IPOB. No. People will do that. I remember, which is why I have so much regard, love, and admiration 
for the one on family in Los Angeles. I remember people ask me why, but all these things that are happening, you know, you don't want to, you are not antagonistic towards one and any. And I said, no, I will not be. And somebody asked me why, and I said, because I was in one and any's house in Los Angeles having dinner once. One and any came to me and said to me that he wants to sell one of his houses in Los Angeles to fund IPOB, and I told him no, that he will not do it. I told him he will not do it because we are all over the world. Freedom is not just for one or two people. It is for everybody. And we must all individual. People have given their lives in this very effort. In this very effort, including my mother and my father. They died because of this very effort we are making. So what is it to try and come out to support? And people are supporting in very many ways. I will not allow anybody to sell their house or to put their pension fund into this very liberation we have our people in the only only texas can fund this movement very neat and clean without anybody selling their house i said only texas in america or california in fact do you know that california is richer than united kingdom california has a, only one state in america california has a bigger economy than the whole of united kingdom only california and our people are there in large numbers if only if we leave reason, we we'll leave them alone for them to participate in what we are doing. Thank you very much, our dear sister Madam Maka. Thank you for your for your kind gesture, but the answer is no. We are not going to accept it. Stock less of paying back, we won't accept it. Our people are all over the world and we want them to do all they can. All they can to support this very effort. Our, somebody have just written, what is your name, please? You didn't give us your name. You're telling us about Fulani Headsman. If you want me to read out what you're writing, please, you must give us your name. You must give us your name. Very, very important, please. You must give us your name. We are live and we are direct. And we have another caller on the line. This caller on the line, I can see plus two, three, four. Give us your name and where you're calling from, please. Hello. My, my leader, good morning. Good morning to you. But you go, I'll be with you. You sir, and you too. My name is Mweza Tusum Iwekume. Yes. I'm calling from Iguacha. From Iguacha. Iguacha is in, in Biafra land. I hear from Adia. Thank you. Know, precisely. Go ahead. Mazaga Dragon Amao. You sir. Abre Google Bomea. Thank you. As Speak in English, please, because the world is listening. At this time, we have come, and Biafra is what we have come to look for. It's our rights, and nothing will take us back. Because our leader is there doing the needful. We are here also doing the needful. And we are supporting you in everything Thank you. that we will lay our hand on. All the, your enemies, all your the we are, we are, we are seeing all of them. And we, we, Honestly we speaking, we, we, we don't have enemies. People, there is hunger. People are looking for relevance. You know, you can't tell me the reason why people, uh, Joe Biden is rising up to, to, to contest, uh, you know, um, um, yes. with Trump in November is because yes. he too wants to be the president, isn't it? People contest to become, oh, yes. yes, so people want to be like us. Some people somewhere want to be yes. like Nam, they cannot, they cannot be. The, the thing is that there is, if you say now there is a vacancy, we are going to have, um, um, we are going to have, um, how can I put it, uh, uh, voting as to who, or election as to who will be the IPOB leader, they will throw their name in the ring. Yes. Because, yes. because, because that opportunity doesn't exist. That is why they do what they do, some of them. They're only about uh, four or five of them. They want to be anyway. noticed. People want to be noticed because in an era of hunger and poverty, they want to be recognized because they know that our real enemies have the money. They follow the Janja with, they have the money. And they know that in the history of our people and our, our history of betrayal, that once you're seen betraying your people, you will attract, should I say, the patronage of those that want to maintain the status quo that was what the Fulanese did as the as the Biafran people we are busy fighting the British with a with a Kumeku some of you may be too young to know this as we are busy fighting them yeah. as the Bini Kingdom was busy fighting them 
as the Yoruba, the Oduduwa were busy resisting the white man, when the white man got to the north, went to Zaria, went to Kanu, went to Sokoto, the MA said, hey, hallelujah, we have seen Betule. Betule will do us very well. Now, when Britain sat down and, uh, and, yes. and considered who to give power to, they said, we will give power to those who are loyal to us. So what you are seeing today didn't start today. Even the Fulanese, even exactly. the, what the what the traitors are doing today, the Fulanese did to all Nigerians during the time of colonialism. Exactly. The Fulanese lay down for the British, bowed before them. Britain said, "You are my favorite, and I'll give you all the power. I'll give you all the privilege. I'll give you all the money, and I'll give you all the influence." And they are holding it till this very day. So some of these people grew up. They saw how the Fulanese made it. And they are thinking, for me to be a governor like Hopus or them, let me go and bow and kneel before the Fulani. Let me go and sleep with the Fulani, four Fulani Dandaudu, one in Sokoto, one in, in, in Kanu, or another one in Bauchu, one in Zaria, one, in fact, even five, one in Medugri. They go there and they bastardize them. Yes. They sodomize them in the north. And then they come back and they make them governor. That was how Hopus and became governor. And some of these are fools they want to be like that. They know that Nam the Kano IPOB is a thorn in the flesh of the zoo. So they are doing what they are doing so they can appear attractive to the Fulani. So Fulani can go to them and give them money. Oh, why Asika did it during the war? Some of you don't know why Asika. He became the, the governor of the East Central State. Present day, present day, Southeast and some parts of them um, south south yes. some people don't know this he was a lecturer at university of Ibadan, an evil man he decided to go against ojuku what this he just said was what Obabi ojuku, Obabi Asika did against ojuku castigated ojuku was talking every day then after the war obasanjo recommended him do you remember the lady called uh, tema chikwe former aviation minister okay they are all from yes, the same Asika lineage the same family the, if you, those that are benefiting today in our land are all traitors, all of them. Go and check all of them. People from the lineage of traitors, they always reward them. And that is what these idiots are doing. And we shouldn't be wasting time. As I've said before, we have more important things to do. We shouldn't be wasting time listening to people who are seeking for our attention in order to become relevant. Thank you very much for calling and may Elohim be with you. We are live and we are direct. I have somebody on the line. If they are still there. They call on the line. Can you hear me? Yeah. Good morning, Mazi. Good morning. Turn good down morning. your system. I can hear myself on the background. Please turn okay, it down yeah. and give us your name and where you're calling from. Okay. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Onye Kachuku Peter Ikejo from Omonomo Amandua. Beautiful place. And where are you calling from? Yeah. Uh, I am calling from Indonesia, from Jakarta, Indonesia. Indonesia. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah. Mazi, I must say I am happy to hear your voice and speak to you today. It's an honor, it's a blessing to me, and God will bless you also. God will give you a long life. Yes, sir. So, Mazi, uh, today, uh, this question I want to ask, uh, just a little question, but it's not a question. It's not a question to you, but it's a question because I need an answer from you. Yes. For people to be clear there. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long time I wanted to ask this question. I want to know, please, Marzi, uh, some, of, some of our people, our brothers down there and up here, like outside country, they, sometimes I had them saying on social media, uh, they have come to you, they have spoken to you, they have played the music like the one you play or dance, the kind of music you like similarly but not the same. Because I had them say some things you said or you ever said it before. They are saying some things like that. So sometimes I heard them saying, they, 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 they have asked you to do this or, or tell you this or they want you to do this too so that the struggle or the freedom will come this way or will come like this. But I feel they feel somehow the, the same pain or the same way, the same way you feel. Mm -hmm. But they, they never want to... Uh, they never want to do exactly, exactly the same way you are doing because I don't understand that you are a different person. You are a hundred percent different person from them because I know you are a real child of God. When somebody say true child of God, you are a true child of God from the same way you sound because when you have, when you had Grenell, Grenell break or blow, you know that it's going to kill. 
like tank, hammer tank, whenever it shout, you must know that this thing is going to kill. That's the same way you sound like a ray child of God. Whenever you've spoken, I know that this is the voice of child of God because you sound like what you you are going to do. That is exactly who you are. That is God in you. So I want to know these people that sound somehow similarly like you sometimes. They, they say some things you said, but they are not exactly whom you are. Why is that you don't want to work with them like exactly sometimes they said they have spoken this they do this they ask you to do this and they and they don't thank you very much my brother say i've gotten what you're saying but stay where you are stay on the line <laughs> you see people say i have advised him i have told him i've been telling him this is how to move the struggle forward and i ask you these people who are saying yeah. this how many are they how many are they uh Okay, somebody like uh, Tony Nande and the uh, Clifford Iluanya and uh, some of them, there are many. Some you, there are many. There are many thank you, thank you, much. thank you very much. You keep mentioning the name of saboteurs, and this is the problem with black people. And I've said to you, if you don't know the history of America, go back to the history of America, and especially in Virginia, when they were fighting the British. There were people that came and told them, oh, there's a way to do it. You, you allow them. The, the king, King George, should be here or should be there. Do you know what white Americans did to them? They killed all of them.